20th, 2020. Um, I'd been injured at work, so I was off work for some time. And I had gone on the internet and went down the rabbit hole, and I heard about Regan Russell and this woman who had been killed by a transport truck. And I'm like, what the hell is that? And she's bearing witness. What is bearing witness? So I went down another rabbit hole, and I learned all about Regan Russell. I watched uh, uh, her documentary and I bawled my eyes out and as soon as my jaw surgery was complete the last thing I ate was chicken noodle soup without the chicken just broth that was the last thing I ate and uh, I became vegan the next day and, and then I became active the next day my story started back actually in 2003 and I finished reading a book called diet for new America that by John Robbins and I that definitely resonated with me back then and I went vegetarian and um, I stayed vegetarian for quite a long time before I decided that I was going to go vegan, which was about six years ago. So July 1st, 2017, I officially went vegan permanently. And uh, here I am. I was raised on the farm. Uh, we had cattle mostly, and also pigs. And we had chickens as well. So the cows and the pigs we used to send away on trucks to slaughter. Uh, the chickens we get and keep them for ourselves afterwards. The farm's been in the, the family for about three generations now. And it's my grandpa, my great-grandfather um, farmed it, my, my grandfather and then my dad. And it, um, the, us boys, there's three boys in our family. We have no interest in taking over the farm at this point. So they're about two years away from retirement. When I think back, all the years of watching cows and pigs especially be slaughtered in front of me, I always thought, or at least I was taught that it was normal and this is what something we did to animals right and then years after the fact I realize it's you know traumatizing to some degree but at the same time it gives me some some leverage especially in conversations with people to realize that hey you know what I know where they're coming from especially farmers because I was there I lived at so um, yeah it's um, um, it was hard at the point for the family at first when I went uh, vegetarian and then vegan but uh, they've learned to accept it and accept me and and I support them as human beings but not necessarily their actions so I really try to encourage them to take on more compassionate choices. It's my 50th birthday. Uh, me and my partner, uh, he is driving me all the way down across Canada from Edmonton to do activism along the way with all the other activists that I can find. All the other vegans that are sitting on the couch. It's time for you to get up off the couch. We all need to get active. The animals are dying. They're, they're dying right there. This is, I just learned seconds ago that the cows that I just bared witness to are being sliced apart right now as I speak. I'll process that later. However, you guys who are sitting on the couch, I love you to pieces for being vegan. Thank you so much. I love it. But please, do something for the animals. They need you. Um, and that's why I'm traveling across country, to get people active, to get them motivated. Right? I mean, being here surrounded by all these wonderful people, these dedicated, motivated, fierce, bold activists. Like, look at them all. They're just... They're here, I don't know how often, right? Probably every week, some more than once, more than twice. Other places all over, I've been to so many events. It's so inspiring, I've got so many ideas. When me and my partner get back to Edmonton, we're just gonna hit the ground, motivate all the other activists along the way home, and when we get there.